it's not every day that we get to inspect an airliner closely. But today, we're lucky because we have the Embraer E195 E2 or the Profit Hunter in its new livery. Let's check this out. Embraer's biggest jet airliner is positioned as a game changer for commercial aviation as the most efficient single-aisle jet in the market, its current version boasts of greater operational flexibility and improved passenger comforts. The Profit Hunter's eye-catching livery has been a striking signature, drawing inspiration from nature's most powerful hunters to represent what the aircraft offers. This time, it's painted with a Tech Lion, combining futuristic technology with the efficiency of the Apex Hunter. I met up with the guys from Embraer who will show me the aircraft. Well, Captain Joy, I'm proud to say this is an aircraft that is an engineering marvel. So we have changed a lot from the previous type. You can see here this wing. This is called the brake wing design. This is a wing that was uh, tested in a wind tunnel and we've had a lot of iterations and finally we narrowed it to this design. This design works perfectly for the size of the aircraft. It looks good. It, it is, yeah. Good, huh? It is, if you can see, it tapers. It, yeah. it tapers sideways. And we had to take into account the, the bigger engine, high bypass uh, Pratt & Whitney. 1900 engine. So it's a totally new engine as well. It's a totally new engine. We've also redesigned the landing gear. So as you can see, this is the trailing arm landing gear right, design. Right. And uh, it improves the CG of the aircraft. A redesign of the empennage and some height adjustments also resulted in improved short field performance. Wow, I'm excited to see it. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Cesar shows me inside a cabin. Well, you even have business class. <laughs> this is a very comfortable business class. It's an Embraer exclusive design. Uh, it's award-winning. Uh, it's a good Embraer. idea. Not exactly. sitting beside each other. No, this is a standard business class. Yeah. And what's unique about the standard business class is that uh, first, the pitch it's a bit wider. Four inch wow. It's really comfortable. You know, right. I can stretch my legs out. And also, the passenger sitting on the window seat yes. has direct access to aisle. Okay. Another point, I'm sitting on the aisle and I also have a window for me. Makes so it look bigger. The airplane feels bigger. Bigger, spacious. Mm -hmm. We create this uh, business jet like comfort Great. For, Great. for a commercial airplane. The passengers can feel this private yes. space, private jet uh, feelings. With the seat tracks being the same, even in the economy class, it is easy for airlines to reconfigure the cabin. This in Braer we call, we are middle seat refusers. We hate <laughs> middle seat. <Yes. laughs> we don't have middle seat in any of Embraer airplanes. Yes. This is our uh, it's a good philosophy. philosophy. So everybody gets a window or an aisle. With larger windows, spacious overhead bins, individual seat power, and customizable cabin lighting, you can see that the cabin design was well thought out. It looks very good inside, uh, but what about operating costs? I wonder. Are we saving more money here? Cost per seat mile? Uh, these are plane 195 can seat up to 146 passengers. That means the cost per seat is similar, very similar to narrow bodies, right? But the cost per tree is 20 to 25% lower. Because of the engine? Because of the, the weight, the, the design, engine, the design, the wing, I understand. and the size of their plane. With a lower cost per trip, carriers will be able to open new markets and have more frequent flights, which will be beneficial for passengers. What about servicing and maintenance? Have you improved the 
the time before inspecting? Yes, because that's important for an operator. Absolutely. Their plane is designed to fly, right? Not to stay on the ground during maintenance. During maintenance. So, these are plane. The first heavy check is with 10,000 flight hours. Jesus. I don't have to have any checks between one and 10,000 hours? Exactly. It's oh my God. Impressive. I think I should have one of these. The no, only I problem is I, if I can afford it. <laughs> <laughs> no, by chance you're calling the prof to enter. <laughs> We've seen how the E2 would be good for both operators and passengers. But what about for the pilots? Wow, you've got a nice uh, cockpit here. You know, I had a chance to fly with the old... Um, lineage how different is it this is a full fly by our aircraft right. so the other one they have the ailerons but cables so that's why the lighter uh yeah because empty of weight that, now we have a range of 2600 miles okay instead of 2300 at the time yeah of the other one the E2 features the Honeywell Primus Epic 2, ensuring enhanced situational awareness for pilots. As you can see, now we have only four displays, mm -hmm. but we have a display in E1 of 8 by 10. Now okay. we have 13 by 10. And the rest is pretty much the same. The speed brake, the flap position. Yes, the, the other things here, are almost the same. same. Yeah, yes. same at the mass. Which uh, makes it easier for the pilots to transition. It's very easy. Uh, we need only two days and a half mm. of training. Yes. And it's the same type rate. So, so same type, no, same not an additional rate. rating. Wow. So, Even the aircraft's checklist was very short. So before takeoff is only four yeah, items. Only four <laughs> items. <Very laughs> After takeoff, two items. Yeah, so it's uh, very simple, but very easy to fly. It's unbelievable. So, if you brief me today, maybe I can fly later. Oh, yes, you can. I'm sure that you can fly. All things considered, the Embraer E195 E2 seems to be a good aircraft for point-to-point -point missions. With the king of all hunters emblazoned in front, it looks like the E2 is ready to make a killing.